ready to rock. What are you hitting today? I'm up for anything. Up for anything? Yeah. Okay, you want to do some cock push-ups? Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So how many do you reckon you can do? Oh, 20 at least. Well, I can do <laughs> half of one, so you could do maybe a quarter. <laughs> I'm going to hit shoulders. Oh, can I join you? You can join me for this. I'm rear dance, maybe. Oh, rear dance? Yeah. You can't keep up with the fronts. These laterals mm. and these laterals and anteriors are just too fucking dominating for you. Yeah, I know that's what I'm talking about. Little I, I can barely do the rear, so <laughs> I think the front's where it's at for me. Yeah, exactly. You don't like the back end, do you? <laughs> well, I'm not looking for a bloody asshole, if that's oh what you're asking. Oh my god. <laughs> Who have I got in my passenger seat? <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Alright, you're not joining me for any part of any fucking belt movement. <laughs> you go to the other side of the gym. Oh, please. Please. I'd send you to the women's area if women's I Women's only. That's where you belong, but I don't know where you fucking belong. <laughs> I think you belong back there. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna go pray. Pray for my my sins. But tell me about you. Yeah, it's enough about me. What do you think about me? Uh, I think well, I think I'm just gonna finish my little drink here and uh, do some shoulders. Nick is gonna meet us there with his new camera, I think, <laughs> and uh, so he can show off and uh, so see what sort of workout we can get captured and uh, see what his skills. Are. And then, if there's no one in the pool with their fucking floaties walking around in a silly little class, uh, we'll do some laps, but otherwise, we won't. <laughs> and that's it, really. I want to do a swim today. I'd like to, anyway. But it's not to be, it's not to be. What I'd like to do tomorrow, and this is, like, I'm, I'd be, I'm quite looking forward to this, actually, but this probably won't tickle your fancy. I'd like to go to the village, you know, because it's a nice relaxing weekend, going to be here. I'd like to go to the Ross village, have a coffee, go to the gym there, have a nice lengthy swim, and uh, maybe go back to the coffee shop, maybe catch a movie. Uh, sounds nice. Oh, that you know? sounds romantic. Yeah. You should join me. Can I? Yeah. If you want. Can we squeeze in the farmer's market beforehand? Oh. That's beautiful. So we, okay, so you haven't thought this out. No. See, my brain works very fast when it oh. comes to order and efficiency mm. of things. So this doesn't make sense to me. We would go to the farmer's market, grab all those fresh vegetables and fruits yeah. and whatever, and then take them locked up in our Jeep to the village. In a cooler. Ah, you have worked mm. ahead with this little Yeah, thing. thought about this. That, thought about it. Is this Matt? <laughs> helping you like file everything. Is it? Sure. Working on your Let's brain, just isn't he? He's give been credit to, it. yeah. At least I'm yeah. getting a massage. Getting a blood into those little pockets that I haven't had it before. <laughs> uh, okay, well that's it. Alright. That's it. That's it. I want to sit outside though. I want to eat. I want to eat outside. I don't think anyone's going to stop us. But I don't know if anyone's going to sit at a table and chair. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> I want to sit outside and eat, you know, at, at a cafe or mm. outside. Like, I want to be out when it's kind of cold. I just keep myself warm. <laughs> <laughs> sounds stupid when it comes out of my mouth. When it's sat in my head, it sounds logical and fucking cool. But when it comes out, it's like, mm, yeah. And there's something in my head, huh? Alright. Seems like a good idea.
is a pyramid set. I select a weight that I'll do 10 repetitions with. So this time I got the 15. Then I'll do 10 repetitions with the 20. Then I go straight up to the 25s and do another 10 repetitions. I'll rest for 10 seconds, do another 10 repetitions, then drop back down, replicating what I did on the way up, 10. And then finishing off with a 10. So 10, 20, 30, 60 rep repetitions in total per set. So what we're doing here now, as Sunshine is demonstrating, is a reverse grip upright row, uh, sorry, a reverse grip front raise to really target the anterior portion of the delts. And then she's gonna superset that with a reverse grip press overhead. Just when you can't get any more of those front raises in, you'll always be able to get in a few more of those presses. So you'd wanna find a failure point beyond failure and uh, basically that's gonna blitz these front delts. And the other exercise that we did obviously was uh, behind the neck shoulder press. If you don't have any problems with your shoulders, then do that. And then we did a pyramid with the side raises, the anterior head. So what we did was selected a weight that we could uh, do 10 reps for, go up a weight, no rest, another 10 reps, go up another weight, 10 reps, you should be reaching absolute failure there, may have to rest pause. And then you'd rest for about 10 seconds, repeat that weight for 10 repetitions, and then go back down using the weights that you just used on a pyramid back up. So now we're reverse pyramiding 10 repetitions and then finishing off with another 10 repetitions. So 60 reps in total per set. We're doing three sets, uh, working sets of every exercise today. And now we've done that, we're gonna mo uh, move on to um, a little bit of rear head now of the delts and a little bit of abs. Bonnie Doon. Bonnie Doon. Yeah. We're gonna watch uh, Laird Hamilton's new movie, which is gonna be awesome, I'm sure, because he's a Greek <laughs> shit. Oh my God, I knew this would work. Five second one. Eating on the go? Eating on the go, yeah. As I'm driving in a rush as well, so. I'm likely to make a mess all over me. I won't help, don't worry. <laughs> Just gonna sit back and watch. Watch the mess unfold. Yeah. This is a talent, what you have here. Yeah. Hey, but have you seen how much of it I get all over me? No. Okay, I'm gonna sit like that. I can't do this. Hey, you control your environment. Don't get controlled by it. If you say you can't, you won't. You can. I'm just saying I can't drive with two with one hand. <laughs> drive with no hands. It's even easier. I can't even eat a pop tart and drive. My moustache is getting so long on the ends now. It keeps going into my mouth when I'm eating, and it's like I'm chewing on here, but it's my own. <laughs> oh. oh, that must taste delicious. It's all good. A little bit of food, a little bit of smoosh. Wow, I don't know if... Yeah, no. That's amazing. Yes, You're excited. Do you know anything about it? They're in the bathroom. You should be excited. Yeah. <laughs> he usually Hello. It's Saturday morning here, yeah, and it is actually got light outside. But when we were up, it was very dark. And I was online last night looking for some local runs that may be coming up because when my sister arrives, she may want to participate in one because she's done a couple of half marathons as of recent. 
and lo and behold, I found a 5k run that is being held this morning. And I asked Sunshine, you want to do this in the morning? And she said, yeah. That wasn't scripted or anything. Man, was it. Uh, so here we are doing a 5k. So we just registered. Come in here now to have a little bit of hydrocharge and warm up our cockles because it's freezing cold outside and uh, look into each other's eyes so uh, Sunshine could tell me how much she loves me <laughs> again <laughs> and uh, yeah so we're gonna go I got my heart rate monitor on I got my Garmin ready and uh, ready to kick this chick's ass good luck I won't need it yeah that's not gonna happen I'm gonna go to the toilet actually to offload some weight so I've got a, a, a little bit of an advantage it's not gonna help I've only got 10 <laughs> <laughs> we finished our 5k run. I did it in around 27 minutes here. Sunshine did it in about 26 minutes. Where's your trophy? In my pocket. Ah. So she got first place again. Yeah. Three runs, three first places, and we got misdirected. The volunteer told us to go the wrong way. So we went 0.9 miles too far, got turned around. But she still got there. So they practiced that again. So, this is her reward. Woo! A brick. What's yeah. it Farmer's daughter? Egg Farmer's white. daughter. And I got an egg white burrito. This cafe has egg whites because of me. They only had egg yolks years and years ago, and I kept insisting on egg whites, so they got them in. So now I'm a happy champion. Yeah, yeah. By the way, the reason why I'm not shouting about it is because I got fourth place. Hell yeah. As out of the top three by nine seconds. Cut it. That was a while ago. Would have been 2010, I guess. 2010. I said memories from seven years ago. Wow. I think that was straight after FIBO in Germany. What's it like looking at all your different physiques? Uh, I just wish. So this is another picture that my buddy Gaz shot, and this was just. This wasn't planned at all. I was just getting changed or something in his room, or we were sharing a room. He said, let's go out in the corridor, just take a couple of pictures. So we just ended up going out there and take a couple of pictures uh, from the front and back, and they came out pretty good, you know? Mm-hmm. And planned it around it. Just wanted to get that perspective of the, the depth. Hallway, you know? And uh, I don't know, I look back and I think, God, I wish I'd kept that shape. Because my goal has always been to get bigger. That's always been my goal, just you know, get bigger. And as much as you try to concentrate on balance and symmetry and proportion, sometimes it just doesn't go that way. And I, you know, the only thing that I can put it down to, if I look at my shape there now, in comparison, my waist has got a lot bigger. My arms have got bigger, my shoulders got bigger, my chest has got bigger, my traps got bigger, but my waist grew as well. You know, it, it was hard to keep one muscle group down and all the other others are going to grow at the same rate so I had to make the decision okay do I just stay the same size or just do I keep going and just kept going but I think a combination of like a lot of unilateral training so I'd go very very heavy on single arm rows like 170 200 pound dumbbells if I could get hold of them and um, you know I'd 
curls would be 70 to 90 pounds on one side. When you're curling there, your waist is supporting all that weight. And I think a lot of that just over uh, repetitive strain just blew out the waist a little bit. And uh, I was having a lot of food allergies, I guess, you know, gluten and sensitivity, just different things like that. Put like that out a little bit. And uh, eating a lot of food, your intestines are a muscle at the end of the day, trying to digest big portions of food, I guess, um, didn't help either. How would you, like, knowing what you know now, how how would you have uh, redirected your exercise to maintain? I would have done more isolation work, less compound work, I guess, but, you know, it's hard because sometimes you just think, it's a sacrifice I'm kind of willing to make to get some big lips and to be bigger because that's a mentality you know, when you're a little younger. But I guess now I'm not that concerned about it, so I'm not concerned about putting on size. So if I had gone through that stage right now, I would have done things differently, like today, not years ago. And that would be less unilateral training, less heavier lifts, less compound lifts, probably less food, and uh, focus a little bit more on the quality of the foods that I've taken in instead of the quantity. Oh. Well, Maybe you look... Maybe more ab work. Ah. Maybe more ab work. I don't like doing abs, I hate doing abs. Alright, so I'm going to go on a, even though we did a 5k run this morning, it took us like 30 minutes. I'm going to go for like a 60 or 90 minute run now. Probably going to be hearing on the verge of 60 minutes as opposed to 90 minutes, I think. So, uh, we'll see y'all in 60 minutes. 60 minute run, Chris Gretton. Alright. See you in a bit, baby. The bite is I just finished a six mile trail run and without having a shower. So I went in that dear toilet and changed into some clean clothes. No one would ever know. I'm stinking and sweating underneath these clothes. No. So I just finished the trail run and pretty much finished just outside the store. Got changed and come into this new wine bar. What's it called? Camel's Crossing. Camel's Crossing. Odd name. Uh, and I just ordered a, a cab sack. And some damn fine food. So yeah. we've got a beef salad here. Got some cashew yogurt. Some tartar. Tartar and what? What is this? Uh, flatbread. Flatbread. Yeah. Oh yeah, kind of like some little baby naan. And cheers, the cab salad. Yeah. I love these cab salads. He cleans up nice. Huh? He cleans up nice. I'm a mess. You clean up nice. Oh, I clean up nice. <laughs>